Welcome TV3 fans to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm here today with John Barland, head coach for the Frazee Hornets. <laughs> Once again, go on to state. Hi John. Hi. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. Thank you. As you mentioned, yes, we did qualify for that state uh, tournament yeah. this year again. It was a very exciting season. I'll tell you, I just cannot believe the quality of wrestlers that come out of this area year after year after year. I mean, and, you know, of course, I, I know you got Marty, you know, and... and uh, <laughs> that, Marty and Dennis. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I mean, you've got a tremendous staff that keeps on shaping these guys. That's exactly and, right. And you've got uh, the Mat Rats, mm -hmm. you know, and, and uh, I know a typical example for me of a Mat Rat is uh, Ridge Kanan. Yeah. You know, I've known Ridge since he was in diapers <laughs> and watched him come up to where he is now, a freshman. Right, exactly. <laughs> no, that's exactly right. We've got a lot of kids that are involved in the program. The other thing that, that you see is the, the their uncles and their dads and their grandpas all were involved in, in wrestling in some mm -hmm. aspect. And so it kind of runs in their blood, we like to think. I believe it does. You know, I, I it's something to do with being on this side of the divide, <laughs> I, I think. I think you're right. I think you're right. <laughs> And uh, so now, what, what were the highlights this year for you? You know, I know, of course, going to state yeah. always is. Right. I, well, we had a very successful dual season. We ended up 18-3 and three overall. And wow. so we're real happy about that. Um, and we finished second at the Heart of Lakes Conference Tournament, which is a mm -hmm. very tough tournament as well. So we're real happy about those aspects. And then as well, getting to that section tournament, we got a chance to revenge that uh, uh, loss we had against Greenbush earlier in the year, <laughs> and so we got to pay them back at the section time. So those those are certainly some of the key points uh -huh. of the season. Now you're you're going to be losing a few seniors. Yeah. How that's, many? How many this year? We had five seniors on our squad, mm -hmm. and uh, um, that finished the year. Uh, Tyler Blower was a fifth place finisher mm -hmm. down at the state tournament, as well as Cody Nunn. Mm -hmm. and we also had Jamie Homer was a full time starter on our team. Mike Lacero, who has been around and placed multiple times at the state meet. So those. Four guys will graduate, and then also Nick Brower, who didn't see much of the end of the year. Uh, he had some injuries, so but uh, mm -hmm. five quality kids that we're going to miss. Wow, you know, I, I just like I said, I, I just get amazed every year, and not only this year with wrestling, but with how all the activities are doing. Right. I mean, exactly, we, the we whole school a, is 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 really on the on the path there. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think the girls had a, one of their record-breaking seasons in basketball mm -hmm. this year, and the football team had made good strides. And I, I know they reinstated the cross country um, program as well. So yeah. I mean, a, a lot of fly good girls and, oh, yeah, and the, the dance girls, line. And that's exactly right. Yes, FFA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I just recently heard that our knowledge bowl uh, team did very well, as well as our, our music department, as well as in their sectional tournaments. That's great. So now we got next year. Right. <laughs> uh -huh. So what, what great ground, great breaking things are you going to do? Well, you You're know. You're going to continue with this, your same ongoing program. Well, we, 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 def <laughs> we definitely set our sights on being in that state tournament. And, and it's one thing, I don't, I don't know if some people realize how much work it actually takes to get to that state tournament. I mean, it is a real accomplishment. And it isn't a guarantee every year that you're going to get down there. So we work extremely hard to get to that state tournament. And certainly those are our sites next year as well, getting to that state tournament. We're, we're real excited. We have a, a talented group of underclassmen coming up. Our junior high team was second in the state yeah. this year. And so we've got a lot of 7th, 8th, and ninth graders that got a lot of experience. And, and are, we're looking forward to see those guys mature into the varsity roles. Yeah, I can't believe how tough these kids are getting, you know. Yeah. I, I know I talked with Bruce Levin, senior, mm -hmm. yeah. and he says, you know, the kid's getting pretty hard to handle. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. But what's neat about that junior high tournament is they went down there and they wrestled with the Apple Valleys, the Hastings, all the mm -hmm. big schools. It's one class, and they finished second in that tournament down there, so it's quite an accomplishment. Well, John, congratulations, sir, and Thank you much. to uh, the team and the program and the assistant coaches <laughs> and everybody that supports these kids. That's right. This is what it's about. You That's know, right. community involvement to help these kids all move forward, keeping keeping them so that they can be the best that they can be. With that, we'll be back with Patty Nunn talking about a storytelling project here coming up. Well, welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here with Patty Nunn. Hi, Hi. Patty. Hi, good to see you. Nice to be here. Yes, how are you doing? Very well. So I understand we're talking about the sixth annual 
Uh, storytelling. The sixth annual storytelling festival, sharing the tradition mm -hmm. of storytelling, by uh, sponsored by the Frazee Area Arts Association. This year, we're receiving uh, uh, lots of financial support from from uh, Leighton Broadcasting and and the. Uh, the schools are involved. Uh, we're hoping to get uh, a couple of grants that I'm not going to say yet, but we did get a grant from the Northlands Storytelling Network. But yeah, we have, uh, uh, for six years, we've worked in the school system and uh, uh, it, during the day, but at night we have a special storytelling concert for adults, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's going to be at 7 o'clock on March 27th, Friday, March 27th, at the Frazee Event Center. Tickets and beautiful are, downtown Frazee. Beautiful downtown Frazee. Tickets are $10 and mm -hmm. available at the door. Great. Now, tell me a little bit about some of the people you have involved in this, Patty. Well, Michael Cotter is a nationally renowned storyteller. He has worked at the Smithsonian, at the Kennedy Center. He's got his own radio show in southern Minnesota. He's a third generation Irish Catholic farmer. And oh, so he's he got, so some, got some Blarney in him. <laughs> he does, and he will certainly be dishing that out. He is the one that, that keeps the audience in stitches. And he's been with us every year, all six <laughs> years. And, and uh, uh, this year our musical guest is John Peterson, and he is a native of North Carolina and is an a, a anthropologist. Uh, ah. He studies Appalachian lore mm -hmm. and legend and does Appalachian music. It's kind of almost pre-World mm -hmm. War II, pre-Bluegrass. Uh, okay. but, but he will be our musical guest playing banjo and dulcimer and other handcrafted mm -hmm. ornaments and telling jack tales, the you know, Jack and the Beanstalk, and those okay. are kind of originated in And now he's still, still in the southern part of the country. He now. is uh, working out of the Fargo-Moorhead area oh, right okay. now. So, And then we have a, an Iowa storyteller, Joanne Lauer, who is uh, uh, a Norwegian Lutheran farm ah. girl. And she talks about her small farm in, in Iowa, and, and it's over a thousand acres. Now, to me, that seems enormous. But, uh, you mm -hmm. know, that maybe in Iowa, over a thousand acres is a small farm. And it then depends I'll on if you're in the middle of the corn or sorghum field and trying to figure out which way to get out. How to get out, <laughs> yeah. But she, she's a delightful storyteller. And John Peterson and Joanne Lauer will be uh, leading our storytelling workshop on Saturday morning. Okay. That's going to be right here at the Frazee High School Media Center, mm -hmm. uh, 8.30 Continental Breakfast. And Community Ed is helping to, to put that together, so you could contact uh, Community Ed at 334-2525 if you'd like to pre-register for that. And that, too, is $10, and, and you can pay that at the mm -hmm. door as well. Well, you know, I, I, I like these, some of these traditions that are coming forward. And, and you know, we, we, we have some of these people in the area that actually should be involved in your storytelling, some of them that I know that are still around. We've lost some of them over the years that really we had the blarney. Yeah. But <laughs> there's still a few out here in the brush. Well, it's interesting. This year we'll be able to do, uh, uh, since we've been here for six years, we're having a special guest appearance by a family, and that will be Ike Fisher. Mm -hmm. And maybe he's one of the people you were thinking yes, of. Yes, Ike definitely. Fisher Ike. and his grandson, Martin. Thorpe okay. are going to kind of do a tag team story at the concert and so we will have that local flair and just show how this six years of sharing the tradition has really impacted the kids in the school system as well. Well, I appreciate that, Patty. Yeah. And I'm, I'm glad that you've been able to keep this going. Well, we work hard. Uh, the Frazee Area Arts Association is, mm -hmm. is a wonderful organization and a small handful of people. But if anybody would like more information about the festival, um, they can just call 334-4264, and, and we can get them information about that. Okay, so we're the 27th. Yep, That's Friday seven, night. 7 o'clock. Storytelling concert for adults. Yeah. Saturday morning is the oh. workshop. Okay. Thanks, Patty. Yep, thanks for having me. And with that, we'll catch you next week on Spotlight on Crazy.